It's that time again. Doki Doki. Yeah! We have... We are playing again. Um, Doki Doki Village Club. And yes, I'm the Enemy Uprising. That's what I'm bringing to you. Terrible intro, but, you know. Let's get... We're gonna have for the intros. You're, oh yeah, I gotta read someone's poem. Well, let's go talk about him. Let's go with Sayori. Mm. Oh! I like this one, Colby. It has a, some nice feeling in it. Oh, I'm glad. Still, though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you, you know me a little too well for my own good. Well, don't just try to be nice about it. I'm doing a, if I'm doing a bad job, oh, frick, <coughs> if I'm doing a bad job, then I'd just rather hear it. Hear it. Holy frick, okay. Alright, okay, alright, let's go. No, no! I still like this one, I promise! No, I wouldn't lie to you, Colby. Never, ever! Yeah, I guess so. What made you know yesterday's poem so... What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um... Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I get to... That's why I just go on my heart. If it makes me feel things, then I must be a good poem. Frick. <sighs> no, this, uh, I'm not really home. My freaking my reading skills are terrible, but I wanted to play this game, so... We're here. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Oh, frick, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole, this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> uh, why, do you, <clears throat> why do you at least try giving it some thought? What an oh, frick. Aw, oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you always but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. <sighs> if you don't, you might end up getting hurt or something. At some point. Frick. Eh? Uh -huh. Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep that in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes I like, I like a little bit of both. Maybe there's a word for that, right? What's that word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are, that are sad. Happy and sad? I'm not frick, sorry. I just finished drinking some monsters, so it's like... What are you gonna do? <laughs> I can't see you liking any something sad, Sayori. Well, I like the happy. Th I like the happy the most. I like happy the most. There you go, frick. My reading is not going good today. Damn. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud on your, in your head, oh, a sad poem can give that rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow cloud. Or it can make the great cloud worse. It can make it a lot worse. You're just giving it to your sadness at that point. This is something happy when you're sad, man. It's like, if you're just sad, when you're sad, you're gonna get sadder. Then it's gonna be like, okay. It's gonna keep going down and down to a downward spiral until you commit suicide, foreshadowing. <sighs> so let's, when you're sad, let's listen to something happy. That's all like, I'm saying here. And make a nice happy rainbow cloud or whatever frick. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. It, it is? Oh, I forgot your voice. Maybe getting a bit express. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Colby. I should go write down. Write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. Isn't your scalp the top of your head? 
don't seem my breakfast. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Yeah, inside your head. Oh, oh god. But anyways, little balls of sunshine are rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and I pluck out one. I pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a little bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in the bottles. All in a row. Oh god. I, her voice is actually really tiring. I don't know why. My collection makes me feel like it makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Come down some down comes some bottles to save the day. Night after night, more dreams and more blah 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 blah. Uh, night after night, more dreams, friends after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I build the dust off my bottle caps. Oh god. It, it doesn't feel like a time elapsed. My heart. My, my empty shelf could do some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, open up. And. and, and, and home pop. Blah 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 blah. Oh my god, today's just not my day, man. Ho ho ho. Finally, I'm done opening up and my, in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frankly pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out in each to every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the, the title. The tile beneath my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. And shards on over the floor. They were supposed to be my friends. My friends who ain't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all what I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Holy crap. Oh, that wasn't even... I'm just gonna rest a couple seconds. Like... You can already tell me I used to read it out loud. That's why I, I like stopped almost all my other playthroughs. But I'm gonna finish this one. I said I'm gonna finish it and I'm gonna finish this one. That's why I've been playing so much of this goddamn game. And I want to see what happens later. Holy crap! Sorry, did you write this? Of course I did! I didn't tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem but then frick. Whatever, you guys write it yourself probably by now. Yeah, but. I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. You could have taught me a whole lot. I haven't really been in touch with my feelings recently. <sighs> I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm used to you being so cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too, too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. She a proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit more. A little bit better, my frick. Writing is like magic. You've gotten a pretty passionate about writing from this, huh? About this, huh? Oh my god! The... Oh! Mmm, can't one. I should have played getting over it today, but I played episode two three times already. I'm taking a break from the game for a second, I'm just gonna talk. I was like, three times I played getting over it for, for one episode, and guess what? They all didn't record. One didn't record my voice, which was awesome. One didn't even record the gameplay at all. Oh, no, I did two times, but now I gotta play it three times, try to get up again, but it's like, oh god. But anyways, back to the game. Hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I'm gonna keep writing until I die! <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no matter, no more than a week later. 
this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes, it makes me hard to believe. Hard for me to be pessimistic. I always face this face and this by myself. It's like, oh, I, I think in the house and it's gonna end. So I'll just finish it my way, but no, it's not how it ends. So I gotta reread it. It's like, damn. So next is Natsuki. Oh, great. Here we go with Natsuki. Hmm. I liked your last one better. Uh, really? Well, well, does it make a really deep voice? Just kidding. Well, yeah. I can tell you were a little more daring with this one. I mean, cool. I mean, cause it's really squeaky. Like, really squeaky. But you really. You really... Oh, no, I can't do it. No, I'll try. But you're really not good enough for that yet. It all felt flat. No, yeah, no, do not, sorry. That may be true, but I just want to try something different. I'm still figuring this out. I mean, no, I mean, I always like poems that are trying too hard. I hate when people try to sound fancy or add more meaning just by using annoying, complicated language. Honestly, I'm just gonna use a regular voice for her. I, don't, I can't make another sound, I can't make another cute voice for her. So, I'm just gonna make it sound like me. I don't know. Just make it simple and cute. Make it simple and cute and to the point. You always head up over heels for all this cryptic nonsense, but I see right through that BS. Ha! Making your, making your reader look so hard for all the deeper meaning, it is just an excuse to have no more meaning, you know? I just can't. I just can't today, guys. Holy damn. And also, if you're wondering for the why I have the one light on the back, it's because, like, if I don't, my my glasses will reflect the, the screen, like, a freaking lot. So, like, if I have that, it's, like, it's focusing more on that light than it is on my glasses, so it's way better for me that way. <sighs> okay. Ready to read some more! I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their own opinion. But my opinion is the best opinion. I'm sure you figured it out already. Uh, anyway, here's my poem. Maybe you'll learn something. Alright. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky. Ring. 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 Harry, ugly spiders. I couldn't ring the lead. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> That's why my friend there. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing. I heard her singing my favorite love song. But every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not a friend with her. That's why my friends are there. At once. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up. I took me to the nurse. I tried to let her touch me, like she likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. This poem is so negative. Like, goddamn, just be, just be happy. <laughs> Amy has lots of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends to like to like spiders too? So I'm not friends with her. I don't, it doesn't matter if she, she has any other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt pe anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The little spider off with the spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Oh my god, damn. I don't know what's up with me today, guys. I don't know, but. Oh my damn. Not bad, right? It's. It's a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was too short. It was just warming up. I hope it didn't. Th I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I don't. I have any t t anything else to explain. If something you can explain complicated issues with much more simpler analogs. It helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone who would agree, it's actually great to the subject of this poem is 
Yeah, we can jerk. Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's all about it's about how everyone thinks my It doesn't matter! I can't it doesn't matter how it doesn't matter it can't it can be but anything oh my god this today's episode by far is going to be the suckiest episode first the intro no I'm stutter second my, I mess up the lines now I'm starting to stutter Oh my god, I've already gotten this far, so I'm gonna keep going with this until we get all the things done. For it to be easy to relate to, everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think of you less. Regardless of you, but just makes people stupid. Who cares? But if someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to, to learn how to respect others for liking weird things. But you're definitely right. At least you can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best, after all. I don't think writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important, but I don't want people to think from it, not just to feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. Okay. Alright. Yuri. And next. Let's see. What are you written for today? Yuri stares at the poem with a surprise expression on her face. Do you like it? Cool. How did you pick this on this? How did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of technique. Techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to give it more imagery. We're visually swallows. Even with their hands are here sweaty. Thump it bow! To what? I don't know. No, oops. Oh, fuck. I messed up my voice again. That was weird. <laughs> the game is like bam, 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 bam. And what the frick was that? It's fine. Take your time. No, this game's a horror game, but seriously. Oh. But it's probably, my, it's probably my computer doing this, though. Yuri breathes and collects your thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I often get that patience to her. Oh. Yeah. It's gotta breathe, man. Like, I just, like, I wanna read all the lines first, so I don't bother taking a deep breath. Like, it's just gotta go with the lines, man. You just gotta go. That might sound really, really. Okay, yeah. one, two, three, let's go. Just appreciate. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing just makes me really happy. Are you saying you never shared your writing before? Here he nods. Really? I don't believe it. I only write for myself. Frank, and besides, People would just laugh at me. Do, do you really think that? Again, you're not. Huh. Even your close friends? Mm-hmm. He doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah. I do. If, it you, if it's with you. Okay, if I can, I'm hoping I can read this because it's in handwriting. I have really difficult to reading handwriting, so let's go. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scruffling, scruffling of a raccoon. 
outside my window. That was the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a an ordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My little conscious was well aware of the consequences. Well, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting life what was a symptom. Was the symptom? Where is it? The bread was. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, and urge, the mood it incitement, incitements, its phase, and reflects that much more light off my cutting life. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my, the raccoon, my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon decided, or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions into the new satisfied animal. <sighs> the raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that when we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes more and more frequently becomes more hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. I rush Ush Rush Rush up Lord Classic Parfian Conditioning I slice the bread and I feel myself again. Okay, I couldn't read that properly. Um I was a little dark pairing with this one than yesterday. You can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this is. Poems about Oh my god! That's right. It's a, it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem of, as a canvas to express them with the imagery and conveying emotions through them. Gary's voice is probably the easiest voice to do, honestly. Yeah, if, it, if I can take it to, to face value, like if I can take it at face value, then I can't. If I take it at face value, I then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Holy damn. I can't wait to wrap this video up, let's wrap this episode up so I can like be done with reading for today, even though I'm enjoying this game. Uh, I think it's something that pe people different that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express the way it feels for me to indulge in more in my more unusual hotness. That, 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 that sentence. That sentence right there. I, I can't. My stuttering is getting really bad. I gotta start, I wrap this up soon. I'm gonna start going a little bit faster. It's those sorts of things that usually force me to keep up, to keep my, to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Well, that's funny. I didn't, I didn't, didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About something being ridiculed for a strange interest? Huh? She, she did? Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting with anybody. She, she's right. Uh, I mean, she, does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you two have that in common. I mean, that's well interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would have make fun of my hobbies. But I, su but I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Oh, uh, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I have, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all. I haven't learned to embrace my own weirdness. I would probably have hate myself. I I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, last one, last one. We gotta get through this one, then we are done for the day. So let's go. <laughs> oh god. No, I wanna talk about things at the end of the video anyway. It's done. Upcoming monthly manga collection. Hi, Uncle 
call me? How's the rating going? I'll rate, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's going, isn't going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe you'll soon come up with a masterpiece. A masterpiece. God damn. A masterpiece. Damn. What's going on with my voice today? <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. I want to share that. What you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I got my phone and Monica. All right. Great job, Colby. I was going, I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's exp expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. I guess it's, I guess it worked anyway. You know that. You really like this kind of rating, right? Rating that's more, that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes simple, direct words to describe happiness and sadness. <sighs> Yuri likes when readers are left aware of their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write something like that efficiently. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, being letting them deeply in analysis, analysis all the instances. It could take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry much about that. You, you do know your own thing. I'm just exploring and, 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 and learn, but I'm trying to do things. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do, too. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, this one's save me. The colors, won't, they won't stop. Bright colors, plus expanding, piercing, red, blue, gray, and blue, and this cocophony of meaningless noise. The noise won't stop finally creating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, cosine, a tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a dirt table. Like playing a violin on a pizza crust. Pizza crust? What the hell? <laughs> An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Oh, save me, load me. Okay. I don't get her. Yours are, Monica's poems are usually a little bit weird. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just... The, it's just the kind of thing i never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Just where I and how the space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic! The way I I wrote the lines really short images and blah 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 I rested but I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about though. <laughs> Sometimes what a poem is about isn't the right answer. A poem can be abstract as a physical expectation of the feelings. The feeling. Or a, a convention a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's running table today. Sometimes you're finding facing a difficult decision. When it happens, don't forget to save your game. Tell me to save the game. Not taking any chances with my her. You never know, or you might change your mind. Or when you're some, when something unexpected happens. What is this? This is this even about writing? What are you even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Alrighty, guys. Th 
this took an amazingly amount of time was to save over this one. Yeah, we'll do that. But anyways, that's all we have for today, possibly. But with that said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. And this episode was very terrible, I guess, because I was like stuttering all over the place. So hopefully you enjoy. It. Otherwise, all that. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Johnny.